Сейчас они покажут видео, а потом объясним, как раз ответили на вопросы, может быть, глядя на... Over the past few years, I've been working with children of all age groups, helping to correct their myofunctional orthodontic problems. We have found that many of these children struggle to keep their lips together naturally. This problem is known as lip incompetency. What you're going to do is you're going to use this for about five minutes every day when you're doing your activities, okay? This problem can persist despite correct use of the trainer and myobrace appliances. The lip trainer has been designed to directly work on the orbicularis oris muscle, that is, the muscle that encircles the lips. The tonicity of this muscle must be adequate to achieve bilabial contact of the lips in the resting position. The lip trainer is to be used in conjunction with other appliances in the trainer and myobrace systems. What we're going to do, Sam, is I'm going to get you started on this lip trainer, okay? Now, the way this works is it's going to help to build up the strength of your lips to get them to, to stay nice and tight together, okay? So, what you have to do is you get this little tag. You're going to take the trainer out. So, if you just grab the lip trainer, okay, and you attach this little tag to it. So, it goes in this little hole there. I'll just help you out with it. Okay, now the idea of the lip trainer is it goes in between your lips and your teeth. Okay, now this isn't like an activity, so when you're doing your activities, you just do this every day for about five minutes. So, do you can put it in between your lips and your teeth? Yeah, that's correct. And get those lips together. Now, while it's in there, you've got to have your tongue flat up against the roof of your mouth. Sit up nice and tall. That's better. Alright, and now the idea is I'm going to pull on it, but you've got to stand up nice and tall for me. Keep that tongue up. Alright, and you've got to squeeze those lips together to try and keep it in. Okay, it's really important that you use your lips and not this muscle down here, okay? That's better, that's good. All right, and the idea is you've got to try and hold it in there. You'll see, I'm almost getting it, okay? But you've got to try and keep it in there. That's really good. Okay, now the more and more you practice this every single day, the stronger your lips will get, okay? And it's really important that your tongue's up in the rest of your mouth while doing it. Do you want to have a go at doing it yourself? What are the features of the lip trainer? The lip trainer comes in three different colours. Blue, pink and clear. It also comes with two different coloured straps that the child can choose from. The main features are the strap tether, which is where the strap attaches onto. The lip bumper, which assists in retraining the lips. And it is ideally shaped to fit the orbicularis oris muscle. And that's the features of your lip trainer. Step 1. Attach the strap to the lip trainer. Insert the lip trainer with the lip bumpers on the lower side. Step 3. Close lips over the lip trainer and hold the strap and pull on it horizontally while keeping the lips squeezed tightly together. Step 4. If the lip trainer falls out, place it back into the mouth and use just enough force for the lips to hold the lip trainer in place. Step 5. Vary the exercise by pulling the strap slightly upwards then slightly downwards to exercise the upper and lower lips individually. Step 6. Continue to repeat this exercise for five minutes. Together, tongues on the roof of your mouth. So, Chris, you want to add something? Comparing the oral screen, I think it's I difficult think to do. I think that the, 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 this is not like the oral screen or what it looks like. It. And if you're looking about the early treatment, you would use the infant trainer because it's got more features on the it. Uh, yeah, so so uh, the 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 front what what we developed this for was because a lot of children just it doesn't matter what happened. They still were like this, and so we, they didn't have the strength. So it's to get 
the strength of them for them to get the lips together. Just to clarify, only after five years of age? No, anyway. But yeah, but we could use them at any age, but, it, but mostly we will use them in the late extent. Yeah, to explain the treatment. Yeah, understand what you want. Why do we use five years so the patient will be enough for the adult to understand? Как бы, что от него требуется. Вот, это, то есть это аппарат не для ношения, не для пассивного ношения, не для пассивного лечения, а для активного, для активной тренировки. В том, в вестибулярной пластинке, наверное, не используется, насколько мы видим. Вы используете для этого вестибулярные пластинки? Я уже давно уже но мы, мы вестибулярная пластинка и заменяем соску. Да. То есть многим пациентам, которые приходят на консультацию там, с трех лет, mm -hmm. ну, да, детей приводят, mm -hmm. а, ну, за неимением, допустим, вот этого, да, мы yeah. можем yeah. назначить... Yeah. Этим нельзя заменить соску. Ну, я поняла, я поняла, что инфанта можно заменить, yeah. да. Но мы вестибулярная пластинка. А для тренировки Для тренировки рук у нас тоже вестибулярная пластина, но она там есть для более старших. И взрослым мы тоже можем назначить вестикулярную пластинку. У нас есть пациенты, которые с ней занимаются. У вас какая-то специальная для, с которой можно тянуть? Пластинку. So it's, yeah, the oral strain is not made for exercise. Yeah, they hold, it's supposed to hold it in the leech, not the... То есть они они должны держать его с при помощи губ, а не внизу, а в вестибулярной цинке там же есть вот эта штука, которая... Нет, нет, нет. Они есть с козырьком, есть без козырька. Они без козырька, стандартный вестибуляр. So if you have the two versions, the soft and the hard one, only with the shield, like this, and then the ring, Okay, you could do exercise, no, but there is no lip trainer, no lip bumper on the, on the old screen, it's just plastic. Uh, and I think it's, it's good for young age, but if you want to use the oral screens, I think, think about infant trainer, because infant trainer got much more features than the oral screen. Если мы используем от 5 лет, имеется в виду, для старших мы же можем использовать стандартную вестибулярную пластинку для, для тренировки. Уже полчаса это мусоли. I would do the, uh, the trainers, the K1 or K2, and then the active program. So tomorrow I'm going to show you the trainer activities program. Sorry. And this program contains a book with nine exercises, contains a DVD all in Russian with nine exercises. And these exercises you're going to add for two to three minutes during daytime by wearing your appliance, and that's your oral screen. Uh, ну, он рекомендует использовать упражнения, но я думаю, что как бы нет никакого конфликта между тем, что делаете вы с, 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 в комбинации с упражнениями. Главное, чтобы была достигнута цель. Но завтра мы покажем, как использовать упражнения. Иногда все равно мы, конечно, используем лип-трейнер, когда упражнения не, не помогают. Ну, когда он у нас в России будет, мы тоже его будем And if you want to do exercises with the lip trend that you don't have, you can use your oral screen. If you want, of course. I'm not saying you're not allowed. We're talking about our nose. The trainer, the K1 in combination with exercises, got the same result. Thank you. I don't think it's a very good thing. Let's go ahead. So again, if you find a reason to use the oral screen, use it. I just try to give you a better option. Lip trainer for five minutes every day. Yes. How long? How long? One to three months. До тех пор, пока не будет достигнуто, то есть когда аппарат основной, пассивный аппарат перестанет выпадать ночью. So before you start wearing the K1, you do five minutes exercise wearing the K1. Например, перед тем, как ребенок носит там час аппаратка один, он делает вот это пять минут, но потом носит аппарат. То есть это как упражнение. So we continue. To finish this part, I show you the most important appliances to start with. K series, my brace for kids, and T series, my brace for teens. There are 
options, more options. If you go to the website, if you go to the brochure, you will find more series of appliances. Я вам показал две основные серии аппаратов, но есть ли больше опций, больше вариантов, например, вот этот, который вы сейчас видите, для третьего мая. One of the series we have also is the interceptor class three appliance, I three N, I three I three H. Аппараты для коррекции аномалий третьего класса I I three N, I three и I three H. H значит жесткий пар. The first and the second one are available in Russia already for a few years. This this one is coming later. Yes. The first two are already available in Russia for some time. The third one is in process of registration. No, we don't sell them. Sorry, we don't sell them. Just without certification. No, it's just a big issue that we have already decided without certification. Maybe the third one will be also. Или тренер можно также объяснить. А вы сколько не спрашиваем первый? Нам говорят, что нет, у нас такого нету. Нет, я знаю. Нет, с каркасом тестим, с каркасом сколько не просили, ни за какие деньги не отдают. Да понятное дело. And just have a few months wait before this one is coming, but you can start in this series if you want. But this is something you need some experience with. Your first case is not a class three. Но лучше начинать с случаями, где имеется нам аномалии третьего класса, когда уже у вас есть опыт работы. And the indicated age to use the interceptive class three appliances is between three and seven, three and eight years of age. Late primary, beginning mixed condition. Ah, the best age is the early beginning, the early mixed condition. We also have a series for adults, the Maya brace for adults, for adults, sorry, pre-primary, fifteen plus. Ah, there is also a series for adults from fifteen to seventeen years of age. We are working hard to get everything in Russia, believe me. We want it already a year ago, so we do our best to make all the appliances available in Russia as soon as possible. But we start changing something in the registration program, and every time we have to add new things. To finish this part, because we have to have a short break, and then we have some patients here, so we have to be on time for the patient because we can't wait with the children for a long time. On the website and on the DVD you have the consultation DVD, you find the appliance selector. На сайте и на сидероме вы найдете функцию подбора аппарата. And with the appliance selector, it's quite easy to find the correct appliances to use for your treatment and case. You select the dentition of the age of the patient. Depending on the dentition, the computer will ask you, is it, uh, no, sorry, that's the next one. You can choose the trainer system or my brace system. So, more myofunctional focus, more orthodontic focus. Depending on the age, the computer will ask you, is it class 3? Or does it need ass expansion? And by answering these questions, you will get a treatment plan. And if needed, you can add ass expansion, you can add myole, and you can add oral screen. В зависимости от индивидуальных нужд пациента, вы можете добавить аппараты для расширения дуги или миолей. Особенно липкой. Especially for you. Thank you. Okay. To summarize and to make a few things clear. Я хочу подвести итог. 
After 10 years working here and lecturing, I have a few things listed because I noticed every time the same questions and problems. To get experience with this system, you need to start a mixed edition of it. Для того, чтобы наработать опыт с аппаратами биофункциональной коррекции, нужно начинать с сменных трикусов. If you have experience how to sell the treatment, to get compliance, you can do anything you like. Be my guest. Если у вас еще есть опыт работы обучения пациентов для достижения наилучшей кооперации, то это замечательно. Select at least 10 patients and start the treatment. Выберите 10 пациентов, с которыми вы хотите начать это лечение, и начните. If you think 10 patients is a lot, it's nothing. Take it a few days and you have 50 patients. Если вы думаете, что 10 пациентов это много, это совсем немного, пару дней и будет 50 минут. To start treatment, please, no class 3 or severe crowded cross-bite cases. Keep it a bit simple in the end. Когда вы начинаете работать с этими аппаратами, лучше не выбирать случаев с аномальными по третьему классу или очень сильной скучности или перекрестка. The more experience you have, the more cases you can do and the more you can charge. Чем больше у вас опыта, тем больше вы можете пациентов, тем больше денег вы можете тратить. Use the K1 to start any treatment between 5 and 50. Любой с любым пациентом в этой категории от 5 до 15 лет вы можете начать с аппарата K1. Never start only treating your own child or just one case. Никогда не начинайте лечить всего один случай или только своего ребенка. Your own child and one case is the most difficult case. Только один случай или только ваш собственный ребенок это тяжело, нужно сразу ответить. Зачем начинать на собственном ребенке, если у вас нет опыта Watch the parent and patient DVD and knows how it works. Ознакомьтесь с содержанием сидерома, обучающего сидерома и знаете, как он работает. Edwin later and tomorrow will show you how to use this DVD, and you are going to use this DVD to do the first consultation. Edwin позже покажет на пациенте, как он использует этот DVD для обучения, и так что вы сами потренируете сам, как вы используете. Make always good records and evaluations. Всегда снимайте, видите полную карту пациента, то есть хорошие фотографии, хорошие модели, рентгены и диагностика на каждом визите. You will be surprised what can happen after four, five, six months of treatment. And then you didn't take photos. Follow the treatment by consultations and checks. If you promise me doing this, I am sure you will have good results and a lot of happy patients. Thank you.